topic is so in continuous memory allocation in order to allocate in order to allocate the available space or available memory so we follow three strategies or we simply call them as three algorithms they are nothing but first fit best fit and worst fit okay so there are three algorithms for accommodating the available memory okay in the main memory so for that uh, these three algorithms we will discuss with an example okay so let us suppose let us suppose this is the available let us suppose this is the available memory okay let us suppose this is the available memory okay so these are the process to accommodate okay process p1 p2 p3 p4 these are the these are the process which are to be accommodated in this available space okay so first in first fit what we do we will see so first we will draw it as it is in first fit what we do is in first fit what we do is we will move from left to right we will write the values so it is 50 150 300 350 600 similarly 50 So here first what we have to do is in first fit we are discussing about first fit. So the first we have to allocate all these four process. Okay, this is the available available memory. Uh, first block, so we have five blocks. First block, third block, and fifth block are already filled with some other process. So we have only two two spaces, two holes for there, two free spaces for there, are two free blocks for there. These two blocks are used for accommodating this four process. Okay, so here what we do is first we'll go using first fit. First fit means first we'll see P1. So we will move from left to right. If the first block is, if the first block is enough or sufficient for for inserting this process P1, we will use that. We don't see that there might be another uh, block which may be better than this block. We don't consider that. So if we see the first empty block, if it is capable, if it is sufficient for inserting our process, it's enough. We will insert that. That's what we do in first. Okay. Right. So P1, we have only two blocks. First we will see 150. It's not enough. We will go to 350. Yes, this is sufficient. So we will insert P1 here. So P1 will be inserted. So here it's, it is 300. Its capacity is 300. Okay. The available space is 50. Okay. Next we will move to P2. P2. So first we will see here. So this this first block is enough for inserting P2. So P2 will insert P2 25. This is 25. Okay. Next P3. Again we will move. So P3 it is 125. Yes, this is sufficient. So P3 125. Why because 125 plus 25 is 150. So this is 125. So we have inserted P3. So 1 is over, 2 is over, 3 is over, 4. So the only space left is this one. So we will see here. P4. 50. 50. 
This is the way how we allocate using first fit algorithm. In first fit algorithm, what we do is we will check from left to right and whatever the empty space available or empty hole available or empty block available, we will check whether that empty block is, is enough for inserting the first process. If yes, we will insert there. Otherwise, we will move to the next one. Okay, this is what we do in first fit. Now, let's come to the best fit. In best fit, what we do is first we will see. Let us suppose the first process is 300. So, what we do is so, we will identify all the available empty spaces or empty blocks. So, P1, the first process to be inserted is P1 and it, it needs 300 uh, MB or 300 MB, right? So, here we have two blocks available. One is 150 and the other is 350. We have to identify uh, what is the size closer to this required process size. The required process size is 300. The available slots are 150, 350. So 350 is closer to process P1. That's why we will place P1 here. <coughs> P1. Okay. Here we have P1. 300. Okay, P1 is 0. Next. P2. P2 is 25. Okay, we will identify out of the available blocks which, which block is closer to the required process size. Required process size is 25. Available slots are here we have 150. Here we have 50. So 50 is closer to 25 rather than 150. So we will place P2 here. We will place P2. P2 25. So this is 300. This is 25. Next we have P3. So P3 it requires 125. So the available starts up, this is 150, this is 25. So 150 is closer to 125 rather than 25. So we will place here. So P3. 125. Next the available place is here we have 25, here we have 25. Okay, 25 is available here. So P4. It requires 50. But the available space are 25, 25. So here we will place P4, 25, P4, 25. Okay, this is the way how we insert, this is the way how we insert the data or process inside the, I mean using best fit algorithm. Next one is worst fit algorithm, worst fit, the name itself it is worst fit, worst fit means, so in best fit what we have taken, based upon the requirement, the available blocks which are closer to the requirement, that one we have taken. But here in worst fit, we have to take or we have to consider the block which is having highest in the remaining. Okay. So we have two blocks left. What is, one is 150 and the other is 350. Which one is uh, maximum 350? So whatever the first process may be, whatever the size of the first process may be, by default we have to fill it in 350 block. Okay. We have to fill the uh, first process should be filled in the in the space which is having highest highest empty space. Okay, right. P one should be placed here. P one three hundred. P two twenty five. Here only fifty. Here one fifty. So only two. One fifty is higher. So P two twenty five. So P2 25. P3. Here we have 125. Here 50. So 125. P3. P3 125. P4 50. The only space available is P4. So like this, we will keep on inserting the data. Right? So this is about first fit, best fit and worst fit. Okay? So with this, we will wind up. So with this, we will wind up the session. Okay? Thank you.